Hello everyone, Deacon Matt with you again on Monday, April 20th. Good to be with you again. I hope you're having a blessed Easter. I've been reflecting on the gospel for yesterday, Divine Mercy Sunday. Divine Mercy Sunday was um, promulgated by John Paul II in 2000. And it's a day for us to think about the mercy of Jesus. St. Faustina Kowalska had private revelations where Jesus appeared to her and he talked to her about his great mercy that he wanted for everybody. And that's what we celebrate on Divine Mercy Sunday. And I think the gospel reading is so important in that. You see behind me this, this wall of crosses. We, we have this in our house and it's a reminder for Allie and I all the time of the great mercy that is available to us because of the sacrifice of God's Son, this universal symbol of mercy. In the gospel reading, probably one of the most famous gospel readings there is, the story of Doubting Thomas, so much so that the, the term Doubting Thomas has become a secular term. But in the gospel, Thomas is incredulous that he's not going to believe that Jesus has risen from the dead until he can stick his hands in the wounds. A week later, Jesus appears in the upper room and Thomas is there this time. And Jesus shows great mercy to Thomas. and says, here, Thomas, stick your hand in the wounds in my side. I'm reminded of the, of the great depiction of this scene by Caravaggio, the incredulity of Thomas, and the detail of that of Thomas sticking his finger into the side of Jesus is so moving. Because I think of how many times, as much as I know God's mercy is available to me, that I've doubted that I'm worthy of that mercy. There's another great celebration this week. Tomorrow, April 21st, is my 30th wedding anniversary. And I've been blessed to be married to the most beautiful, merciful woman I could ever imagine. And reflecting on the gospel and thinking about, about this great gift of my wife, it made me realize how many times I've received God's mercy through the actions of someone else. Not in a divine revelation to me, but maybe someone's treated me with mercy when I didn't really deserve it, or they've forgiven me for something that I've done. And I think that's a great lesson for us that modeling Jesus and modeling the love that he has for us and the mercy that's available to us, when we show mercy to other people, we make Christ's love and Christ's present, mercy present to those people. Especially in this time with the virus and social distancing and we, we can't go out and, and people are losing their jobs and, and really struggling and anxious, it's an opportunity for us to show God's mercy to them by loving them, by being patient with them, by praying for them certainly, and just being present. If we can do that, if we can be present to them, we'll make God's mercy present to them also. And we'll remind them of the great sacrifice that was made for them as well. God bless you, have a, have a wonderful week. Enjoy the beautiful springtime weather and I'll see you soon.